In this video we will demonstrate how to set up a reflectance measurement using a reflection probe and show you how to measure reflective colour using Ocean View. The equipment we will use is as follows. A 600 micron Viz NIR reflection probe. This has an input made up of a circle of six fibres and an output with a single fibre. A WS1 white reflectance standard. A reflection probe holder the HL2000 tungsten halogen lamp and the flame UV vis spectrometer with 25 micron slit. You should always try to ensure your reference measurement uses a reflection standard that is as close to your sample as possible. If measuring off a highly reflective specular surface, use a reflection standard such as Stan SSH. Similarly, for low reflectivity, use Stan SSL. For some applications, it may be helpful to use an integrating sphere such as the ISP Ref. To set up, start by attaching the two ends of the fibre with SMA connector to your light source and to your spectrometer. Take the end which has the circle of six fibres and attach it to the light source. Then attach the end with just one fibre to the spectrometer. Next, place the probe end into the reflection probe holder. It should be a few millimetres away from the end of the holder. The size of the measurement area will also depend on this distance. This can either be placed at 45 degrees to the sample or at 90. If placed at 90 degrees, you will receive more light into your spectrometer, which will include plenty of specular reflection. This can be useful when you intend to measure specular reflection or when there are very low levels of reflection. The colour we see is mostly caused by diffuse reflection. So when measuring colour, it is best to have the reflection probe at 45 degrees. In this particular application, the wrapping paper provides a lot of specular reflection. So it is even more important to remove the specular reflection in order to get an accurate measurement. Finally, plug in your spectrometer and make sure you allow time for your light source to warm up. Once your equipment is ready, open up Ocean View. To use Ocean View to set up a colour measurement, Go to the Spectroscopy Application Wizard. Choose colour from the options. As we are doing reflective colour, you will need to choose New Percent Reflection Processing. You will then be asked to choose the acquisition parameters. To choose an appropriate integration time, ensure your light source is on with the shutter open. Place your WS1 reflectance standard against your reflectance probe in the position that your sample will be placed. Now choose a time that allows the highest point on the spectrum to reach up to around the height of the blue line shown here without the spectrometer saturating. Or you can click automatic for Ocean View to do this for you. Choose the amount of scans you would like to average and any box car you'd like to use. Choose whether to use electric dark and non-linearity correction. We recommend using both. Click next and then with the WS1 reflectance standard still in place, click the yellow bulb to take a reference measurement. Next, close the shutter or turn off the light source and click the grey bulb to take a dark measurement. The next window allows you to choose the colour parameters that you are interested in. The chromaticity diagram is automatically selected and will allow you to have a visual representation of where your sample lies in colour. Other commonly used colour parameters include XYZ or LAB. There are also several other parameters available and you can choose what you want to measure. In this dialog, you can also select whether you want to use CIE 1931 2 degree observer or CIE 1964 10 degree observer. Learn more about these by checking out the applications blog on the Ocean Optics website and looking for articles about colour. Here you can also select which type of illuminant you are using. If you are unsure about which illuminant is best for you, speak with one of our technical team. Click finish and you will be presented with several different windows in Ocean View. On the right here we have the chromaticity diagram. On the diagram the white circle represents the position of your illuminant light source. The black circle shows the colour as seen by the spectrometer. Here at the bottom of the screen we have a table containing the colour parameters that we selected earlier. In the middle here we have the spectrum as seen by our spectrometer. At the moment our light source shutter is still on so we are seeing 0% reflection. 
Open the shutter to see the reflectance from your white reference. Re-reference if necessary using the small bulb icon at the top of the screen. Let's have a look at some of our wrapping paper samples. The red season's greetings paper clearly shows a very strong red signal. This is a spectrum from the gold paper. Our penguin paper shows another signal again. This type of measurement can be used to quality control for any product which needs colour consistency. To save the spectrum, first go to Configure Graph Saving at the top of the screen. Here you can choose the file format and target directory, as well as the file names and how often you'd like to save. Next click the Save icon at the top of the screen. Let's see how our files have saved. As you can see here, there's just one file. This contains the spectral data from your spectrometer. In order to save the colour parameters that you selected to put in your table, you need to do something a little extra. First, go to the Schematic window in OceanView. When you select to save a file, OceanView automatically creates an aggregate and a file writer in order to do this. This is coming straight from your spectral data, which means that's all it will save. Our colour parameters are being calculated in the nodes shown here at the bottom of the schematic. Say for example that I wanted to save the LAB values as well as my spectral data. I simply need to hold control, click on LAB and drag an arrow to the aggregate. Any number of these arrows can be created and deleted at any time. Now if I click the save icon as before, it will save both the LAB values and the spectral data. As you can see, we have our L, A and B values. Any other colour parameters can be saved in a similar way. We hope this information will be useful when performing your reflectance measurements. To find out more about this and other measurement techniques, visit our website at oceanoptics.com.